Facebook has now 2 billion monthly users. That's a lot of people, but also a fantastic opportunity to reach out to new customers if you are running a business. In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to set up a Facebook page for your business step by step and click by click. I'm Luke Durand, the founder of RankingAcademy.co.uk, the place where small business owners turn to for better online visibility, more traffic to their website, and more customers to their stores using free video tutorials. If you're new to my channel, why don't you click on the subscribe button now so you will be notified as soon as I publish a new video. Hi everybody, so um, as I said, today we're gonna talk about creating a Facebook business page. The very first thing you need to understand is you need to have a personal profile on Facebook before you can actually create your own business page. And this is because Facebook wants to know who you are and who owns that page. So once you've logged into your uh, personal profile on Facebook, all you need to do is to create your own page. And to do that, you are gonna need to click on the page creation link, which sits under the create option in the navigational menu on the left-hand side. Uh, and that's gonna take you to the main area where you can create the business page. So let's just do that. Once you're in there, you've got multiple options. What interests us today is the local business or place. So let's select that. Okay, so you should uh, now see a form with multiple fields that you need to fill in in order to describe your page, starting with the page name or the name of your business. So uh, for the sake of this exercise, I'm going to pretend that I am a baker and I'm going to call myself bakery for you. The next field is the page category. Obviously being a bakery, I'm gonna search for bakery. Uh, you will see that Facebook offers multiple options here. Try to pick the one that is the most relevant to your business. Street address, pretty straightforward. Country by default will be displayed. And then finally your postcode, which has already kind of been pre-filled partly. And finally your phone number, okay? Once you've done all that, you just need to click on Get Started. Well done, so you've created your business page. Obviously, it looks a little bit naked, uh, and we're gonna need to cover that in a minute. But the very first thing that you need to do is to unpublish your page. Why? Because it looks pretty poor right now, and if anyone was to access it by chance, um, I don't think that would look very professional. So in order to do that, just go into your settings, the settings of your page right at the top here. Click on the link. Under the general tab, choose page visibility and click edit. Pick the page unpublish option and click save changes. You will be presented with a pop-up. Just click next and then take the first box on this one too and click unpublish your page is now unpublished. Okay, it's now time to design your page and add some images in there. And we're gonna start with a profile picture. So your profile picture can be anything such as a product that you're selling or a picture of yourself as a business owner, uh, or you can also add your logo. It's entirely up to you. If you do not have any images available, uh, there's a little trick that you can use. Um, head over to a website called canva.com, which I've got here, and sign up with your Facebook account. And I'm just going to do that right here. And by default, it's going to log me in. And the next step that you need to do is click on the Create a Design button on the left-hand side here. And it's going to come up with a bunch of suggestions but what you need to do first is use specific dimensions and the reason you need to use specific dimension is because your Facebook profile picture needs to be a hundred and eighty pixels by a hundred and eighty pixels so let's type that right in there and click design so what I'm gonna do next is choose an image for my profile picture. 
and I'm going to start searching for something in relation to my business. In this example, it's still a bakery. So let's put bakery and see what comes up. Enter. And I've got a uh, bunch of um, suggestions here. You will notice that there are some free pictures and some pro pictures, which means you will have to pay for this. Obviously, I don't want to pay. So I'm going to use a free one and I'm going to drop that in my canvas. My canvas, which I will uh, remind you is 180 by 180. So in order to fill up the canvas, I will have to stretch my image to the right size. There you go and reposition it. And the next step is simply simply to download it. Click on the download button and that will download this in your uh, downloadable folder. So all we need to do now is to upload our newly created profile picture. To do that, simply hover on the little camera icon in the profile picture space. You'll see the space becomes grayed out and says change picture. Click on that. You'll have a list of options to choose uh, your picture from. Uh, we're going to use the upload photo option. Here is a picture that I have created and it should be the exact right size. Okay, as you can see, I do not even need to edit it again. I save it. And here we have it. Okay, for our next uh, stop, we're going to add a cover picture. You just need to follow exactly the same process. So I'm not going to repeat what we've just done and I've already created one. All you need to do is go to the add a cover option or link right there and click on the little camera icon. You can also add a video, by the way, uh, but obviously today we're just going to load an image and click on the upload photo video. Choose your image and load it. Once again, I have made sure that I have created a picture that fits the exact size. And just so you know, the size for this picture is 828 pixels by 315. So let's save this. And we have now a profile picture and a cover photo. Once your cover photo is loaded, hover on it and click. Here you have the opportunity to add a description to the image as well as a link or anything else, a price, whatever you want to put in there. And I think it's a, it's really valuable to add some uh, information here and it would be a shame not to, just in case people click on it and you can save that. And there you go. It gives you an additional opportunity to either redirect people to your website or give them further information. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is add a button, a call to action button on our Facebook page. Why do we want to do that? Because we want to give the opportunity to our visitors to find out a little bit more about our business or even uh, give them the option to download a newsletter, book a service. Uh, there's all sorts of, of things that you can do. So right under the cover photo, you will see there's the add a button, the big blue button here option. So click on it. And once you've clicked on it, you've got a selection of options. There's about five of them and all of which have got sub options. So if I go through them, you can see that under the get in touch, there's there's about six options, uh, learn more, there's about two, etc. So for the sake of this exercise, I'm only going to add one uh, and I'm going to pick the learn more one. And here what I want to do is I want people to find out a bit more about my business. Uh, so if I click on this, it's just going to give me the option to add a website link, which is what I'm going to do. Add button. So you now have a button on your Facebook business page. And when people click on the learn more option, they will be taken to your website. Okay, so let's move on to the next step, uh, which is adding a description, a short description on your Facebook page. As you can see from your page itself, there's a couple of tips 
um, provided by Facebook. And so you just need to click on them and we're going to start with adding a short description. So click on the box and then suddenly there's a little pop up and all you need to do is fill in the form right here. Please note there's only 155 characters. So make sure you write something quite compelling that will encourage people to look at your page and stick around for a bit longer. Here we go. Um, it's actually a little too long and save that. That's it. Next thing we're going to do is add a website to our page and click on the send people to your website recommendation right here. And again, all you need to do is enter your website. Click the save button and you're all done. Okay, we're almost there. Uh, two more steps to go. And this one is all about creating a vanity URL. So what is a vanity URL? A vanity URL is a URL that is easily recognizable and it's great for marketing purposes. As you can see right now, our Facebook page is called a facebook.com slash bakery for you uh, dash and a bunch of numbers. And it is not very practical to remember. So we want to give it something a little bit more user friendly. And that's why it's called vanity URL. So in order to generate a vanity URL, all you need to do is just click on the link that is called create page at username, which is located right under your profile picture right here. This will open a window and you just need to specify what username you want to give to your business page. So my recommendation here is obviously to give it your business name. What you will see next is um, this error message. I am not eligible to create a username. And the reason for that is because I've just literally created my page. Facebook will only let you create a username as soon as you have 25 likes. So my suggestion is as soon as you've finished creating your page, send it to your friends and family, make sure they like it, and you should get uh, the ability to change your username pretty rapidly. Okay, everyone, so the very last step we have to do now is pretty straightforward. Um, all that remains to be done is to publish our page. We've completed everything, so simply go back to the settings, and under the general tab and page visibility, click on the edit, tick the first radio button that says page published and click on save changes. And that's it, your page is now live and kicking. That's it, thank you for watching the video. I hope you have found it useful. Time for you to build your own Facebook business page. If you have any question, why don't you post it in the comment area and I will respond to it so everybody can benefit from it. See you in the next episode.